come on, let's get to the bottom of this. But to just walk out and leave, and it's a fake number, and you ain't got no proof, then girl, sis, you wanted to go anyway. You had your foot out the door already. It sound like that. Because they ended up saying it was a prank, but the way he describes it, it sound just like that. <laughs> like, oh, thank you, God. I'm so happy he cheated on me. Girl, come get me, Lisa. I done saved up enough money, child. It's time to go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this. What's up, y'all? She girl Nick G the host. Do you miss me? I hope you do. Cause I miss you. Sometimes it takes to go missing for y'all to miss me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, listen, I have several announcements, okay? For one. Just give me a damn second. Got it in the t-shirt. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and order this bitch today so I can send them out to you. You get what I'm saying? Also, I am having a party. I have confirmed the date and the, uh, the place I'm having it at. Also have tickets for that on Eventbrite. That will be in the description, also in the pinned comment. Y'all come party with me. Come fuck with a real nigga, you heard? I got the best DJ, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna be hosting and we are gonna perform. So shit, <laughs> why not, you know what I'm saying? Also, uh, I think that's it. That's it for right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get into a reaction. Messy Monday has just been posted. I've been working all day on shirts. Whoever ordered shirts, they are on the way. Messy Monday. Child, the last Messy Monday came out. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was just not feeling reacting to nothing, okay? Getting my own videos out there, you know what I'm saying? My pranks, my challenges, and story times, mukbang, shit like that. I was focusing on that. But sometimes, you know, you just gotta bounce back. So. Let's get the bouncing back. I can't stop giving y'all reactions. It's no way in hell. You know what I'm saying? But all right, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna get to it. And I know me and Tori used to do <coughs> Messy Mondays together. And I want y'all to know that Tori has her own channel. It is called YSMI TV. Okay? We are focusing on our own channels right now. So nobody's falling out. Nobody's beefing. What's wrong with us focusing on ourselves? Please. Thank you. Let's get to this video. Let's get it. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right. Mm. It's Bob Isaac. Girl, I am back and I'm ready to give y'all the tea. I have been gone for so long. I have missed y'all. I don't remember I mean, the last oh one. Gosh. I wanted to get on here and talk. We missed so much tea. The past two weeks, it was tea on top of tea on top of tea. I fucking hate that shirt. I seen a couple shirts like that. And because and, uh, y'all know, also we're going to Miami. May 16th, so y'all make sure y'all pull up on us if you're gonna be a sweet heat. Make sure you speak. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna be a sweet heat, man. I hate that shirt, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get a, a couple of items to wear, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't it. Mm -mm. I was like, bitch, I am I'm ready to drink so angry. I said, I'm like, all right. At this point, just up to y'all. Hey, can I bathe your tea? Can I soak your tea? Can I just have some tea? <laughs> I want to holler. I can't do the thing. I had to sit here. I had to be quiet. I had to just get myself together and just calm down and relax. Get my tosses from I'm drinking some miso soup. Food was just, I think it was the worst decision ever. But stop. The fact that I'm be able to gobble a bottle, my father. Anyway, so I'm back in effect. We about to get this going. And y'all already know before I start, I like to give y'all the hot topics, which we call the sugar honey iced tea. But guess what other word I done came up with? Let's get into the shit. And that's the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into the shit. First on the shit, we got uh, the sweaters versus the beehives. I'm not against any 
the other two. I love the Swifters and I love the Beehive. But what everybody is upset about is they say that Taylor Swift mimicked or was inspired by oh, the band. performance. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so I've been seeing that, and this is my thing. What's wrong with being inspired? You know what I'm saying? Let me listen to the rest, because she probably said some smart shit, but what's wrong with being inspired? That's the whole point, to inspire others. That don't mean nobody else can use a band just because Beyonce used a band, and I love my Beyonce, okay? Saying the girl took the whole thing, you know, but I do feel she was probably inspired by because she had the same colors, pink and yellow. You had a drum line, you had the whole band effect, you know, but I'm not saying because it's the only one who can come up with a band, but it's just, it's just, it's just. Uh, let's call a spade a spade. Y'all see the girl kind of was inspired by. I'm not gonna say she's. But Beyonce not the only one that had a band before, you know what I'm saying, performing, so. Like I said, because beehives, don't don't come for me. I love y'all because I'm with y'all. I am. But she nobody else can use a band because Beyonce used a band. Come on now. And her <laughs> Taylor Swift band <laughs> was not like Beyonce's band and will never be like Beyonce's band, okay? You know what I'm saying? No, oh, I'm not going to say she did anything. Hell, I'll let y'all fight that out. Y'all decide who took from who or who stole from what or who did watch and I don't know who did the fuck what. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> I guess we're gonna just both send us them to a restraining order. Taylor can't talk to Beyonce. Beyonce can't talk to Taylor. Cause if you do, then you both going to jail. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Restraining order for six months, both for the hoes. Period. All right, next for the sugar honey ice tea. Let's get into these shit. Get into these Prince shit. Williams. Apparently, Prince Williams had an affair. On his wife with her best friend. That's great. Prince. First of all, I mean, whatever, you know, you do what you do. But you did what you did. Well, <laughs> unless that's just a terrible picture. You know what I'm saying? But why? His wife must not be giving him none. Let me ask y'all a question. If you're in a relationship, and your boo thing ain't giving you none. Who fault is that? Theirs or yours? Let me know. I need to know. Now, I ain't saying none of this is true because I don't know. It's just a mere rumor that everybody's saying they're trying to wait for it to unfold. But I hope Princeton um, cheat on good old Kate. Kate's so pretty with her little friend, you know. I, I don't know, child. But that's what the girls are saying. That's what's going on around the castle, the kingdom, honey. And it is what it is. So, Prince Williams, if you did cheat on Kate, baby, we're going to have to send a shoe into uh, an ass whooping. That's what like we're going to gonna send us into a, a nice old ass whooping. Bust him in the face, put his teeth on the curb, and stuff the back of his head and knock out a teeth out his mouth. That's what we're going to do <laughs> because at this point, we do not condone cheating. Cheating is nasty, and that's what's going to happen to him. But um, other than that, it's just a mere rumor. That's what's going on. It is what it is. Period. All right. Book up. <laughs> <laughs> let's stop all the shenanigans. Let's get away from the shit, and let's get into this. Okay. Versus, okay, we have Taylor versus Brad. Well, as y'all know, Taylor and Brad were going together. Brad is the guy who looked like Justin Bieber. I was about to say, he looked like Justin Bieber. I thought he was just Beaver. so fine. Beaver. And Tana, as y'all know, she hops on the next big thing. So Tana hopped on it before anybody else. And you already know Brad was going to go for it because it's Tana. Hello, get your Tana up, Brad. I'm not going to knock you. I would do the same thing if Tana wanted me. Hey, Tana. <laughs> So Brad was an opportunist and he saw the door was open and he walked the fuck on in and Tana took the bait. So him and Tana have been dating for a while, whatever the case may be, come to find out Brad was supposed to be on Snapchat or something like that and he My own Snapchat that I personally use is my name with no periods, no spaces, no underscores. They no got words. caught talking to somebody else, they were flirting, things that got said, Tana ended up seeing it, and she was very much considered and heartbroken. So I love you guys mind then thank you for never hurting me. How could you break the heart of someone you love for moments with someone else? She took to her YouTube and her Twitter. She started talking about how you hurt her, all this other stuff. And he had to say what he had to say. And it just started spiraling downward. 
Now nah, he really don't look, don't look like Justin Bieber. It's going on. So, honey, come to find out. Taylor said, okay, baby, I'm going to get you back. So, Taylor started playing with Jake Paul. Now, her and Jake Paul is Oh, damn. <laughs> See, I don't know if y'all watch Jake Paul. I watch, uh, you know, several YouTubers if I'm not reacting to it, but not a lot. But I watch Jake Paul from time to time. But damn, she done slid over to Jake. Oh man, that's crazy. They flirting. Ray had some stuff said to Jake Paul over Twitter. Then he didn't stop there. He went to his Instagram story and said that he wanted to fight Jake Paul. I said, Brad, if you don't see each other scrying ass the fuck out. Okay, because Jake Paul might whoop your ass now. You know what I'm saying? He kind of got them hands. Kinda, okay. Go fight Jake who? Jake Paul does boxing classes. I mean, I understand you, man. And then I know you want your cloud party. She want to go this route. You want to get your ass whooped for numbers. Right. <laughs> You want to get DDT to knock out for numbers? If that's what you want to do, go right ahead, Paul. I mean, that's every girl. Get your coins, up. <laughs> get your coins, up. But anyway, uh, he did delete it, and Brad, uh, Jake Paul had to say what he had to say about Oh, Brad. Jake Paul said like, something? Girl, you know what? Like, these Caucasians is cutting up. Damn, he ain't put, you know, put Jake Paul up there. I was over here some Dunkin' Donuts and sitting on my tea like, girl, what's next? Who gonna fight? Who, who gonna do? The Nubian Collection underscore on Instagram. <laughs> So anyway, that's what was going on. So now I think Tana and um, Jake Paul got a little fling going on. I know it's probably for Cloud. Not sure. Definitely for Cloud. Um, Zach, or Zach Clayton made a mistake. <coughs> Zach said people have their relationships for Cloud. So then they see what they had posted that. And then he said the only um, relationship I'm worried about is Mikey and Danielle. I was like, okay, girl, you got it, sir. Uh, it is what it is, but we all know who he was talking about. Oh, my YouTube. I didn't figure he was talking about him. He said he was talking about somebody else. I'm so messy, girl. Messy, messy, messy. But. Try to get this head together. Next case. Next to the guy. We have James Charles versus Gage. Well, James Charles and Gage were a couple. Okay, now I know I said I watched some of the YouTube. But I don't know none of these YouTubers, okay? Uh, they were behind the scenes couple or they were talking, whatever the case may be. Oh, they gay. And come find out, I think it was communicated to James that Gage was using him. And that's what knocked everything off. Uh -uh. So James, like, oh, okay, cool. And stopped talking to him. But I think who James heard it from was some friends and a guy named Dylan who don't like me. Child, first of all, y'all got to stop. Well, I don't know if it's... Y'all, y'all, some of y'all YouTubers need to stop listening to what everybody got to say, especially in these comments about your girl or your man. Like, nigga, because they type away and they going by their business. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you breaking up looking crazy on the internet for no reason. Oh. So, honey, um, then they come to find out Dylan and James was going on a dinner day, but then all of a sudden, J J um, Gage and Dylan were seen together. I'm like, you know what? What is going on? So then Gage made a YouTube video talking about how um, James Charles went to the internet and bashed him and called him a cloud chaser and a user, and then Dylan was calling him a user, but then you're back at having a dinner. Then Gage is back having a dinner with Dylan, and I'm just like, okay, but weren't you just talking about him? <laughs> still bashing James. I'm like, okay, you know what? What is going on? I Forget it. At this point. Who don't like who? Do you really not like this person? Do you like this person? Are all y'all A lot of the times, man, the shit is just emotion. You know what I'm saying? People look at YouTubers like they ain't going through shit and look at celebrities like they ain't going through shit when they going through more shit than you can even imagine. Hence, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just never know. And I don't mean drama, you know what I'm saying? And all that just up here, you know? It takes a lot to be a creator. So some people lash out on the internet. See, that ain't where I go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that. If somebody come for me, now that's a different story. You know. Getting this together is a whole three-way cloud chasing situation. All y'all trying to get some numbers up. What's going on? Did you sign a contract that said, hey, let's fall out so I can give you some numbers and then we'll just all be friends at the end? Probably did. No. So then, honey, come to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck going on. Um, Gage made another video. Now him and Dylan are friends. James just told him to drop the whole situation. Tana comes in. She attacks Gage. Gage attacks Tana. Excuse me, Tana. What did you have to do with anything? I watched you lead on and kiss my friend for a whole weekend. 
And when he realized you got scared and made a video lying and accusing him of being a sexual predator and legit watching you lie like this and get away with it breaks my heart. He's a person too. She, she, mm -mm. I don't like Tana. She do a lot. You know, I was agreeing to put an end to the bullshit because we agreed yesterday. And you are, you and I are totally fine now. But once again, Tana had to run her mouth. Things would be so much easier for everyone if she had a muzzle on. Now Dylan has shut out the gauge again and said he's taking up for Tana and James because now him and James are friends and Gage is left by himself. You know what? I don't know who don't like what and this shit. <laughs> That's the Black people just can't do that. Why? Why y'all think we can't do that? You think it's a, it's a um like an ego thing? You think t people take it really, really personal? You know what I'm saying? Everything really personal. What y'all think? <laughs> He's so stupid. If it, you know what? If it ain't about me, take all three and bitch, let them go kiki. Next fucking case. <laughs> we have Cat Dallas versus Carl. There was a part that was going on in LA, and it was a lot of YouTubers there, a lot of social. Yeah, who are these people? Who are these people? I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? This is why it's hard to do reactions nowadays because shit ain't the way it used to be. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep them coming. And y'all know I'm going to entertain and vicariously talk about what the hell I want to talk about through the video. So, yeah. Make sure y'all go ahead and swerve on to the event right because I'm having a whole live party. And I need y'all to pull up. You heard? 21 and up. I'm sorry. Um, also, make sure you go get your just uh, give me a damn second shirts on royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com. Thank you. Too many people, public figures, whatever the case may be. Well, they went to the party and the boy called said that. Really for no reason. I'm in my own fucking house. Literally talking to my fucking friend and fucking ugly ass Cameron Dallas is fucking throwing water all over my fucking pants like a piece of shit. So fuck it. What I'm taking was they drunk into each other and Cameron knocked some water on him. And because he didn't apologize, the boy took it as it being homophobic. Like, ugh. Because if he said it was a girl, Cameron would have apologized. But because he's gay, Cameron didn't apologize. But then you got Cameron's friend saying that Cameron was drunk. That is the too well with Cole. And Cole was like, no, baby, he was homophobic. And he knocked me and threw his water on me. But people look at the picture and we don't see no water, nothing drenched on coal. So, child, at this point, we're just waiting to see if anybody else got any footage. That That's terrible. Niggas accidentally bump into you and you, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm trying to feel you or something, you know what I'm saying? Or did you really get water on you? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. They do say they got the footage from the party, so we're just waiting um, on that to see what really took place and what happened. So, I don't know. I hope the boy ain't just trying to call this man homophobic because he's just upset with the guy. Um, a lot of people are jumping in on Cole, telling Cole to calm down. They said you're just blowing it out of proportion. Then you got the gay community who is on Cole's side. Like, no, he can't be that homophobic, so. Girl, it is what it is. Whatever the case may be, if it ain't about me, he dropped a little water on you, girl. Okay, ooh, wee. Next time. <laughs> okay, we have a CJ versus Roy. Him and his girl. If CJ don't cut that hair, Lord Jesus. You know, you got to go through the rough stages. It's just kind of the way it go with these, you know. But damn, he looks so nice in his uh, with his uh, waves. Friend apparently had broken up, and this is why. This is not a prank. This is not a joke. Well, I hope to goodness it's not. Someone just randomly texted my phone from a WhatsApp number, obviously a prank or a fake number, and they were texting some weird stuff too. Like, yeah, we were supposed to link up. You were supposed to fly me to your house, remember? And my phone's always just laying around because I have nothing to hide. And royalty saw it before me. Royalty just Kamar, out. sleepy as hell. She took all of the kids and the suitcase, even with Kamar's stuff in it. And she's gone. Talking about we ain't going nowhere now. Sorry for breaking you guys' hearts. It's not my fault. It's CJ's fault. Look, man. Whoever that just was that just pranked whoever that was. I'm serious. That just pranked royalty. Because I already know it ain't nothing. I, I don't talk to anybody. I'm going to put your number. He dead ass. He don't talk to nobody. He ain't got time. But who? Nick. By the way. <laughs> either way. 
it's crazy that people are still doing stuff like that. It's crazier that royalty would believe it and run with it. Right. But as far as I know, right now, I'm a single man, which is weird. And I'm a single parent. To me, that nigga it just seemed like she parent. was looking for a way out. I think one of her friends did it. And this is a scam they came up with so she could leave her man. Or they doing this for clout. Well, little does, does he know uh, it was actually a prank. So, yeah. It was a prank. <clears throat> I don't know. But me, if an unknown number from a What's Up app texts my man <clears throat> or texts me and I saw them say all this stuff, I'm like, no, bitch, you need to call me FaceTime. Okay, I don't believe that shit. What's going on? Let's get to the bottom of this. But to just walk out and leave and it's a fake number and you ain't got no proof, then girl, sus, you wanted to go anyway. You had your foot out the door already. It sounds like that. Because they ended up saying it was a prank, but the way he describes it, it sounds just like that. <laughs> like, oh, thank you, God. I'm so happy he cheated on me. Girl, come get me, Lisa. I done saved up enough money, child. It's time to go. <laughs> so let's be real about the situation, bitch. Something's going on. We'll get to the bottom of it. It's either a prank, a setup, they know what's going on, or she got another nigga and she was ready to pump and they set this shit up. <laughs> I don't know, girl. We gonna see, child. CJ so cool if it don't work out with her. Hey. Oh, he aggravated. I'm always willing to play stepmother. If it ain't about me. Aggie. Next case. Next one, okay? We have Hannah Dean versus Lightning Keisha. Oh, Lord. Y'all, this back and forth with them was fucking hilarious. Do you hear me? Hilarious. But Hazel? Hazel need to sit down, okay? I don't know what be wrong with her. She on something. Cause she ain't right. For real. Boogie got upset because she said she feels City Girl stole her song. Ooh. 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 And he gassing it. But then like skin Keisha comes in and she said, Bitches is hot as hell. You know, every time wants to get hot. Niggas want to start acting up and shit or whatever. It's okay, because all summer 2017, we acting up. So that didn't sit too well with Hazel E. She started clapping back. Then Young Miami came in and said, you know what? Hold up, Miss Hazel, girl. You trying to come up off of us. So the girls are just battling, girl. I'm like, oh my God. They really were. Damn, Hazel E always in some mess. Young Miami, she bad, bad. And she just said, like, then Keisha and Hazel go at it. <laughs> Baby, what I tell you, sis, they went the fuck in, They girl. really did. <laughs> They was calling each other Mr. Head, Jim Carrey, everything. That damn horse. I was dying laughing, okay? And that Jim Carrey was even worse. <laughs> yeah, I said, this girl is bad. You gotta she see what she called deep, Hazel. And she went, went for the girl. No. Let me tell you something. That <laughs> shit was I fucking hilarious. These girls, these girls are gonna start cutting up. They were just bashing each other. I said, what happened to women coming together with each other? Not these. Not these. Bitch. I, mm -mm. At the end of the day, I think you know, they need to just fight it out because they done talked about everything on the day. They caught the girl. Not me, wallow me. I'm telling you, they got disrespect, but I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> 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 Stupid. <Why? coughs> okay, you aggravating as hell. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. I swear I be feeling like he be fake laughing sometimes. I think he be dead ass serious. Why, why are they talking about each other? Why are they talking about each other? <laughs> like it don't sound that. the same when it ain't on the that table. Was, that is not right. See, <laughs> <laughs> she told that girl, no. <laughs> I guess as a comedian, that was fucking hilarious, but I'm kind of over it. <laughs> over it. Oh, that is 
this is this is horrible. Y'all need to shame to y'all self. You know what? They both going to jail. I Keisha has the E sit down sit down somewhere and stop all this bullying each other. Y'all can have the same Did all that laughing talking about stop bullying each other. He came out with Queen song. He never did her song. To my mind, you was the biggest. You and the tallest and that's is a biggest. In the beginning, yeah, you was the realest. Okay, I'm about to say, cut that off. Thousand song he done did to somebody else's. This is my thing, right? You know, back in the day when I was backsliding in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, I got that off of a movie. But um, Lil Wayne used to remix everybody's shit. He actually took over their song. Every song, okay? Every hot beat that was out, he took it over. I wish Lil Wayne get on the baby beat. But anyway, he'll take it over if he did. You know what I'm saying? What's the difference? Y'all tell me. What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> I need to know. <sighs> oh um, put my hair behind my ear. <laughs> anyway, you know what? If it ain't about me, let's get key. Next case. All right, y'all. That's all I got for next money. But y'all, I'm back. Let's get this shit rolling. I love y'all. Y'all continue to always stay messy. Like I always say, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. And I will see you next Monday. Stay messy. Next case. What do you have to do with me? Zola, uh, answer his damn email because I'm, you know, trying to book him. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, y'all. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world okay and I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.